Everyone's upset. It's late. Maybe we should drop this for tonight. That's a good idea. Okay. You just keep your dog away from my son. There you go, picking it up again. I'm sorry, but their dog broke into our home, something he probably learned from your brother. How dare you? Okay, I think that's a good stopping point. You know, how do we know that your son didn't lure Bucky in to perform weird science experiments on him? My son was asleep in his bed, and you have some no... I don't understand why that dog is so interested in Shelby. Maybe Bucky likes the way Sean smells. Your brother washes himself three times a day. He has no smell. Here we go, animal control. Oh, no, no, no. You don't want to go call an animal control? Why not? Because you have to live next door to these people. They called the cops on Georgie when he played music too loud. Maybe it was them, maybe it was me. Anyway, the point is, you can't go throwing gasoline on the fire. Well, they started this fire, and now they're gonna get burned. I believe you've had enough coffee. Listen, why don't you let me talk to Brenda and just smooth things out? Why do you think she'll listen to you? Because people like me more than you. People like me? I didn't say they don't, they just like me more. Anyway, I see her all the time at bowling. I know how to handle her. Fine. Thank you. Why do people like me? Hey, Brenda, how's it going? Your daughter's a pain in my ass. That's how it's going. <laughs> you don't beat around the bush. I've always liked that about you. Connie, I've had a long night. Unless you're looking to bowl, I don't want to hear it. Oh, now, come on. Let me buy you a drink and we'll talk about this. I'm more on your side than you think. And I know you know how stressful it is, seeing as how you have your own child who is special in his own way. What's that supposed to mean? Well, um, hey, I know Billy is a terrific little boy, but I'm sure he has presented you and Herschel with some challenges. There's a weird kid in the neighborhood. It's your grandson. Now, hang on. I said special, not weird. I heard you. I said weird. OK, see now, Brenda, you don't want to go calling my grandson weird when I've just treated you to a margarita grande. Well, I'm sorry, but you shouldn't be inferring there's something wrong with my Billy. Darling, there's no inferring. I've seen the boy sitting in the dirt, eating his own belly button lint. Really, Mom? This is how you put out the fire? Well, at least she got the worst of it. I you figure that? I ripped a big patch of hair out of her head. This will be healed in a week. She will be wearing a hat to Labor Day. <laughs> I want to be just like you when I grow up. No, you Pick don't. Again.